we will now look at factoring this problem. Here, we have 12x squared plus 6xy minus 3y squared. Again, we will use the AC method to help us factor it. Using the AC method, we want to multiply to 12 times negative 3, which is negative 36. We also want to add to 16. Looking for the pair of numbers that make that work, we might try 6 times 6, which is 36. But you may notice those do not add to 16. So we'll try another pair of numbers. 36 is divisible by 2, so we might try 2 and 18. 2 and 18 can work if the 2 is negative. Notice, negative 2 plus 18 is 16. Also, negative 2 times 18 is negative 36. It is very important we take special care to make sure the positives and negatives also work out as we find the special pair of numbers. We're now ready to factor this problem. Using FOIL as a guide, the f comes from the first, 12x squared. You may notice there are several ways to multiply to 12x squared. One way might be 12x times x. However, remember the 12x must be multiplied by something to equal either negative 2 or 18. We can't divide negative 2 by 12, and we can't divide 18 by 12. There's no way we can make this work with a 12 in one of our factors. Another way to multiply to 12x might be 4x times 3x. While the 18 is divisible by 3, notice the 4 cannot be divided evenly into either of our numbers. This means the 4x cannot work either. There is one other way to multiply to 12, and that would be 6x times 2x. Notice this time the 6 can divide evenly into the 18, and the 2 can be factored out evenly out of the negative 2. Keeping in mind our variables, our middle term has xy on it, so we want to end up with xy on each of these terms as well. Continuing to factor, the 6x is multiplied by something on the outside, and the 2x is multiplied by something on the inside. Clearly, we can't factor 6x out of the negative 2x, so it must be coming out of the 18xy. 6x times something is 18xy. 6x times positive 3y is 18xy. In the middle, we have a 2x factored out of the other number, negative 2xy. This must be negative y, and we have our factored solution. By using the AC method, a little guess and check, and a little practice, we can factor trinomials effectively.